Hey guys, so we had a lot of uh, rain today. I didn't do much or anything at all on the sawmill. Um, I, I was looking at a, a new uh, logging job that will bring a couple of small logs in. It's not anything major, mostly firewood. So uh, I'll be gone after that soon, probably next week sometime. But for right now, I just want to show you what I did do in reference to uh, that compressed log that I cut the other day. Hey guys, so if you remember the other day we did a, a little test, or I did a little test, on the concave and convex side of a bent log. And um, I was amazed at how straight the boards are staying. I'll show them to you in a minute. This will be the third day now that they're laying out. Of course it rained. You can see it's a little muddy out there. It rained today and that means that they've got some moisture back into them. So, But it doesn't necessarily mean that the moisture affected the straightness or not. I haven't looked at them actually so we'll have to go look at that. But what I did do was I took these two pieces of wood um, and this was from the, uh, like I said, the concave side and this was the convex side. And I have a friend who uh, teaches physics at a lab or in a school so I just uh, gave them to him and says to him you know do a moisture content reading for you know for me and I want some kind of a penetration test to see which wood is the hardest you know which one is harder harder to or more dense and the funny thing is is that we we expected the compressed side okay of the log to be more dense where in reality the compression test indicated 3.320 and then uh, the penetration test on the on this um, convex side was um, 3.290 which is slightly less than this so you know they're so close that I would say that it appears that in that little bit of a bend that uh, the compressive qualities that should have been available for us to see in the wood are not seen. So so maybe it has to take a bigger log. So I'm looking for a bigger log to cut and do the same test to. But um, uh, I've come across some. They're on another project that I'm working on in another location. So I'm going to have to uh, get some of those logs brought to my uh, um, sawmill and then we'll try cutting some of them. But they're, for now they're not on the premises. But anyway, um, yeah, so and the other strange thing is that the compressive side, which this part does make sense, the compressed side only had 22% moisture content. The side that was not compressed had 28% moisture content. Now, you know, if you think about it, and uh, I'm not trying to argue with any scientists out there, but if you reason it out, 28% means that there's more spaces for water to be. Let's take that as a given. And 22% means there's less space for water to be in there. So that may tell you by the percentage of moisture in the wood that it is compressed. But I can't tell any other way. Now, another way, well I can't, shouldn't say I can't tell by any other way. I didn't check any other way. Now one way to do this would be to cut um, a cube, like maybe a one inch cube out of this, each piece of wood, dry it thoroughly, and then weigh that to see if there's a, you know, greater bulk of wood, which we didn't do. But I'm just saying, for what I'm looking at here, the only thing that shows that the compression may be different is the moisture content is lower on the compressed side. So, I'm not positive if, um, I don't know how accurate this is, okay, but it's interesting to see the difference here in, you know, what one thing did compared to another. So, anyway, I just thought you might want to see that. So, I'm going to go over now and take a look at those other boards that we cut three days ago and see what they... Okay, so, even though yesterday was a fairly warm day and some of you had commented that I was stripping my clothes off, which is true, I uh, got hot pretty quick jumping around on the logs. Um, this had a chance to dry a little bit better and it doesn't seem to have made any big difference in the straightness of the boards. 
and today now we had a really heavy rain so you know I can't say that any moisture that came from the middle is has returned but it's certainly you know moisture from the outside edges has uh, increased just from the rain so I'm going to get the moisture meter and just check and see what this has compared to the testing wood that we used uh, for the penetration test okay so here are the two boards these were the first cut underneath the flitches so the outer one is the concave cut which is, should be compressed wood and you can see how straight those boards are alongside of one another they're <laughs> you know they're really not doing much and then here's the convex side so I'm going to check roughly you know across from one another so here we have 34.5 roughly and this one here, which should be the compressed side, has 31.3. So, uh, I think that that is in a way, and you may disagree, and that's fine, you know, um, I'm not a scientist, but, you know, if the compressed wood has less moisture in it than what the... Um, you know the the non-compressed wood or the opposite side of compression uh, I would think that it would have less moisture in it right so that seems to be working out with even with these boards but again looking at them I mean they're pretty nice fit there actually so I'm gonna just stand them back up and leave them lay on here and hopefully something will happen you know of these boards I would have really expected this thinner board to uh, start doing something and you can see that thing's pretty darn flat in both directions amazing you know it's one of these things where you're trying to prejudge what wood's going to do and in some cases you can but it's not it's not really all the time so just thought you'd like to see that little bit of an experiment that I had done